Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something new here today and it's taken a while to set up but we managed to get it going. So I hope you enjoy it. We're gonna do a little play with me. So today on Animal Crossing we have quite a lot of things to do. So first of all I thought I'd show you around my island and what we've been getting up to lately. Um, there are loads of new areas so I thought I'd show you all of that stuff first. We can go and meet some characters and yeah. Have a look at the new swimming as well. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so if you're new to Animal Crossing, this is Isabel. She is the head of the news, basically. She likes to tell you exactly what's going on around the place. And a lot of the time there is no news, which is really disappointing. I reckon that she should have the job of telling you who's coming to your island for the day. Right, let me get to the beginning of my island and we'll go take a tour. All right, so this is my airport and it's blue. You don't get to choose what one you get. And apparently it helps you decide which stuff that you get throughout the game. So let me know if it's worked for you. I don't know. Um, another person that I know has a blue one, didn't get the same color stuff as me. So who knows? Right, this is my little entrance place. I am still waiting for two little benches to go either side and then this area will be done. It took quite a while, a lot of stress, but I really like the way it, how it's turned out. It's quite cute and welcoming. So I'm really happy with that. So if we head over here, we've got my free section and anything that I already have or don't want or I don't know, things like that, just go in here and anyone that I meet on my live streams or I put it on my Facebook um, group every now and then. My Facebook group, as if I own it, no. Um, and yeah, we have loads of people come over and just pick up up. So, these are my shops. We have the Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters. So this is a clothes shop and then this is like an everyday essentials with furniture in as well. So we will go and check them out in a minute. Over this way, we've got my little boardwalk and I thought this would be like a little arcade slash pier type of thing. It's still not finished. There are a few spaces that I really want to fill up with things, but for now it's looking quite cute. I like it. If we head over this way, we've got my moon park. So this is supposed to be like a relaxing, chilled out area with flowers and nature and these beautiful moon chairs look how gorgeous they are i love them heading over this way we had the event last month where everything was wedding themed so we've got all of the wedding items over here i'm still missing a few and i'm thinking about time traveling back to get them um, but yeah, we've got the reception area, we've got the cake area, and then a cute little swinging bench for the married couple. I haven't finished this. This is still in working order, but for now, it will do. So heading back to the shop area, we have my town residence. So this is where Isabel and Tom work, and you basically use that for everything really talking about talking to Tom about your area if you want to add or destroy a bridge or anything everything and everything is in there uh, she's beautiful isn't she my little Marina Let's see if I've got a gift for her make her happy would she like a wasp probably not Oh no, not my wardrobe. She's having a wasp. <laughs> An extraordinary wasp. <laughs> and then you get free stuff back, so it's pretty good. Um, right, over here, excuse me, this is my little town hall notice board. And anytime that someone comes to my island, I like to have them draw something or write something, but it's just so cute. I love it. Uh, we've got a new notice today. We've got a fishing tournament. Ooh, this Saturday. That's exciting. Right, this is another area that isn't finished just yet, but 
We've got two, these are supposed to be like my VIP art houses because they've got loads and loads of garden space. So we've got that one there and then we've got this one here. I haven't put anything in their gardens yet, but eventually I'll find something that I like. Over here we've got my little village. I love this, this is the first thing I built. Um, and yeah, it's got six houses in. They're all identical. They've just got different things in their gardens. And I think it's so good, so good, cute. Behind that, we've got the park area. So we've got all the little ride-on toys and things like that for the kids. But also, I thought it'd be brilliant to put a Starbucks next to it. Because any parent wanting a drink can just let their kids go into the park for the afternoon. Goodbye, kids. I'm having a copper. <laughs> Right, then we've got my super special houses on the hill with like, you know, extras. So this is Meringue's house. Meringue is my favourite, so she got the pool. And yeah, she loves to water her flowers every day, so they keep growing like crazy. There's a sprinkle, so she's got the next best house. I haven't found anything extra to go in here yet, but I will, eventually. Heading up this way, we, oh, oh. cheeky little bug I thought I was getting something good then um, over here we've got my favourite pond I built this the other day I got it off an idea that someone actually got a pond when they first started the game and I was like that is amazing, I need something like this so I made a heart shaped one I'm thinking that the little piece in the middle I might actually cut out because it looks more like Mickey Mouse's ears than a heart shape at the minute but for now, it's cute, I like it, and hopefully I'll find the little, I don't want to say rubber ducks, but they're not, they're wooden, and loads of people have got them around their ponds, so I'm looking for them. Next we've got my little garden area, so we've got my little shed, as I call it, <laughs> or a greenhouse, or something like that. Um, I used to put all my weeds like this. But over the last couple of days it's really got on my nerves having to pick them up because each day they grow a little bit bigger. So I don't like it anymore. So I've been getting rid of them and I think I'm going to find a QR code slash pattern to go on the floor to make it look nice. But yeah, that's my garden area. Up here we've got my house that we started at. So I've got my little building desk if I needed any extra tools or anything. And then this is my favourite. My infinity pool. I love it. I got my coconut drinks going. Got my little beach chairs. Super relaxed. And at night as well, all of these things glow up and it's super, super cute. Okay, so we're back at residence. And then if we head over here, we've got my campsite area. So this is when any new characters come to your island. They set up a tent here and you can go meet them and decide if you want them to stay on your island or not. So I thought I'd give them a bit of extra. So we've got a campfire going, we've got a picnic table, and yeah, it's just super cute. Along here is my hybrid flower garden. So you can mix two different types of flowers together, the same type, different colours I mean, and make new different types of flowers on the game, which is brilliant because there are so many to do. So I've got a whole section that I like to water and then they grow into beautiful flowers. We've got some beehives, there's no bees in them, which is a shame really, because you get wasps on the island, so never mind. This is my orchard and I've got all the different types of trees. Today we're actually gonna be helping someone out. She actually gave me the idea for this video as well. So we are gonna post her some oranges she said that she's got all of the fruit apart from the oranges. I was like, I will get them to you. So that is the plan today. Okay. Okay, right. Down at the back is my secret path. So up to the left, this is my house. We've just been there. And then up to the right is my forest area. But... We've got a hidden beach. This beach is where Red turns up. Red is a fox. He's a sly, sneaky fox. And he basically sells you antiques, arts, 
and statues and things like that but you have to use the right website or you can waste a heck of a lot of money on him because he is very sneaky and will tell you something is real and it's not and the museum won't take anything that is not real so use a website have a look at the pictures examine them properly and yeah it'll save you a heck of a lot of money up this way we have my foresty area so we've got a oh there's another bug up there we've got our waterfall and then we've got a little pond type thing another waterfall and then we've got my picnic area this took me forever to make I'm still not 100% with it but I love that view it's so cute I just think it's perfect I need that tree that's blocking the moon to go over a square but that's for another day we'll sort that out later I made a little library yesterday. I'm quite disappointed nothing happens with the library. You can't open it, you can't see anything, but someone on one of the Facebook groups had a really good idea that all the DIYs that you collect, you could put in there. And uh, if you had two of them, obviously, you put it in there. And then anyone coming to your island could just go through and see which one they needed. But it's not gonna happen, is it? Right, heading back down and we'll go the other way. Okay, so heading over this way, we are now behind the shops. So we head over this little bridge, a bigger bridge, and then we've got my museum area. So again, another one that took forever to make, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, should we go on a tour of the museum? I think we shall. So this is Blathers. <laughs> I always say his name wrong because it just doesn't roll off my tongue properly. Um, he likes to sleep in the day, of course. An owl, who doesn't? I've got nothing for you. Oh, I do. I think I got a fossil from yesterday. So you collect the fossils by digging them in the ground. So, here you go. Do we need this one? Let me know. A parasaur torso. So I've already got it. Thank you. I'm all good. So, to the left is the bug room. Anything that you collect on the island gets put in here if you put it with him. I would always, always, always give my first item that I find to him just so that if I don't have to ever find it again. I know some people say, but it's nice to keep them. No, I like this because I like to collect and tick things off. That's just who I am. We've got my butterfly room with everything I've collected along here. This is my favorite room, it's so beautiful. Although I hate butterfly rooms in real life, so it's crazy. <laughs> oh, we've got Weber enjoying the museum today. And yeah, the museum is absolutely amazing. The detail that they've put into it is just phenomenal. Loads of these signs all over the place. It'll show you what it's actually looking at. When it was donated, if you share a town, maybe with your brother or sister, husband, wife, um, it'll say who it's been donated by, because you'll share the one island. With the new update as well, you've collected sea creatures. So they are also new in the museum. I haven't seen them yet, so that'll be nice for us both to go check them out together. It's so pretty. Honestly, there's so much to do on this game. If you've ever thought about getting it, just do it. Honestly, you'll have hours and hours of fun. And it's really helped me through lockdown as well to just escape from real life and just play a game. And I just love it. It's a brilliant game. This is the fish room. So anything that you catch in the sea um, goes in here, basically. Sea, ponds, rivers. So a lot going on. I love how the camera actually moves itself. Look at that. That's not me. That's the camera doing it by itself.
this is the big tank. So in here are the whales, the whale shark. She's Destiny, of course. And then we've got Brucey. He's quite nice. He's not a mean Bruce in this one. We've got the upstairs where you could go see them through the portholes. We've got the downstairs. I haven't collected it all yet, but I will eventually. These are the underwater, dark, like lives deep in the sea types of fish. If we head all the way back out to the top, we'll go into another bit. There's so much to see. So here we go. These are the jellies. That's so squishy. <laughs> and then we've got some new ones up here. These were in the update that just came. So I haven't seen them in there. That's pretty cool. Got loads of tropical fish in here. Oh, they're new as well on the floor, whatever they are. Then you get a big view of the top of the big tank. Underwater tunnel. We've got the hammerhead over there. We got little Grabby Grabby with his little legs, octopus, and it looks so full and yet I haven't even got half of them yet. It's crazy, there's so much to collect. Okay, headed out of the fish room, we'll go and have a look at the museums. Anyone that's interested in dinosaurs will love this. There are so many. So this is the first section, this is like the four small fossilised area. And then if you go back here, it's the giants. Dun dun dun! Let me get you on the best position, you ready? Ah! <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love it. It's so good. There's loads of different spots, so if you stand somewhere, it'll change how the camera views it. Dun, dun, dun. This next room, it's not my favourite. I think they could have done a little bit better. So if you stand here, it'll move you in front of them all. I just think... And then we'll head back out and go to the art room. So the art room is actually a new update as well. This wasn't in the game when we first started out. Um, it was just a long corridor up here and this room wasn't even existed. But it is now and that's exciting. So these are the collections that you get from Red. Which is why I say you have to be careful because it takes a while to even for him to even arrive on your island. So there's a couple of pictures, you can collect statues. Um, I am very far behind, but it's okay. I've got ages and ages to collect them all. And I think there was somewhere else, there we go, that you can stand and it'll change the camera again and get a view of everything. It's so beautiful. Right, heading out the museum, we are gonna go and have a look at my little cafe. Oh, there's loads of fossils I need to collect today. So this is my cake cafe. And inside we'll have some tables, some chairs, I'm hoping to collect some more cakes. I'm going to make another panel and put that here. And it's got some chones. I love it. That's my favourite song, that's the bubblegum song. And then back over here is the picnic and moon area. So I like to leave little openings so I don't have to go all the way around the place. This is back to my campsite. I haven't thought about what to put in this area yet, but I will eventually. Something will come up and I'll be like, yep, let's put that there. Oh, I can never remember a name. Norma? I thought it was. Oops, sorry guys. Kicked the camera there. So, Norma is actually making a DIY. So DIYs are things that you can collect. They're like little cards and it just tells you how to make something and then you can go ahead and build however many you want. 
So, what are you making today? She is crafting a chest. Teach me the ways of the chest. What do we get? So, these are the DIYs. Which is what I was talking about when we went to see the little library before. I think anything that you've already got, you should be able to put in there. I think that would be really cute. So these are my recipes. Oh, that's cool, because now I can change the colour of that as well. So I could have a pink one. And anything that I've collected will go in here. Now, because I stream, I have quite a lot of friends that are online all the time. And we go and we trade all of our DIYs. And yeah, it helps you to collect a little bit faster. But there's so many beautiful ones. Look at the mermaid stuff. They came in the new update this week. Bye. So, they are my little villagers. I'm going to show you the map and then it'll show you where we are again. So we're down there, right at the bottom with the little village and these are all of my villagers these are the places that we've just spent to see so i've got the airport the campsite museum the clothes shop the normal shop and the residence so let's go and have a look what's in the shop today this is timmy and tommy they own the shop and you can buy whatever you like so this is a panel we've already got that there's some sort of sound device and we've also got the fridge. This is the new section. This is the summer section over here. It changes probably like once a week. Um, but yeah, I don't really need a green fan. In the cupboard you can get loads of random stuff as well like tools, flowers, uh, clothing. It's really, really random. Medicine, gift wrap. Uh, recipes at a timer. Also all your wallpaper on your floor. They change all the time too. Don't need anything guys. Thank you anyway. Into the clothes shop! Do -do 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 -do. We've got Mabel and Sable. So these are the hedgehog sisters and eventually Sable gives you some patterns. You have to talk to her every day. It takes a long, long time. She will not talk to you for ages. She's grumpy and miserable. And then all of a sudden she's your best friend. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, into the wardrobe. Hold on, I need to take my outfit off. Uh oh, I got a crazy moth in my bedroom. So into the wardrobe and we can have a look at all the different outfits that she's got for sale. I do have my tailor tickets and I can buy some items. Right, so every day there's new stuff. I am putting some outfits together so I'm actually looking for a cowboy hat at the minute. I've got a really cute outfit and I'm missing the hat. Oh, not today. Never mind. So you can actually wear the items before you buy them, which is really cool. Um, all the way down to your socks. There are so many different items. And yeah, you can just have a look, try them all on. Loads of different colours in them as well. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. But I'm okay for them outfits. Thank you anyway. No, not today. Right, I'm going to get some stuff done on the island now. So normally there's about 20 things that you need to be doing daily. I like to narrow it down. Do the essentials. You're supposed to hit the rocks. Um, I don't need to. There's no need for me to do it every day. You get stuff out of rocks. You can get clay. You can get iron. You can get loads of random things money if you get the money rock you can get the money out of it too there we go and every time you do something did you see that click at the top corner there that was saying that i unlocked some nook miles tickets and we shall go and have a look what we can buy with them in a minute so these are the fossils there's four every day 
and I like to do one job at a time otherwise I get confused and forget what I'm up to so where were the fossils that we found already there was one here it takes a while to get used to oh it's a cheeky one again oh I found a DIY you get one on the beach every day as well which is really cool you get one in the morning from your friend in their houses one after lunch and one in the evening I think um, so if you come on three times then you'll get three DIYs off of them too if not one a day is fine you'll easily stock up this is your money tree so you find a thousand bells in there and if you plant 10,000, you get a 30,000 tree back. It's complicated, I know. Go and have a look and see all of the videos online to help explain what it's talking about. But yeah, it's pretty good if you're looking for easy cash. And you can move it to wherever you want it to be. So let's put it there out of the way. Holes like this, you can put it away but the next day they will be gone you don't need to worry about it mine normally have holes everywhere all day and then the next day I wake up they disappeared so we don't need to worry about the stuff so now I like to have a run around check where everything is oh Mr. Stairs there we go uh, this normally takes a bit of time to be honest because you also have to go around again to shake the trees now inside the trees are two items loads of money you get loads of money coming out the trees only hundreds um, but it really does help if you're again starting off and needing a little bit of cash boom four fossils so we take them to the museum we can do that later though right grab your net because you don't want to be stung by the wasps oh sorry Hamlet didn't mean to talk to you Bye. See? Money. So let's see if we can find any furniture today. There we go. So this is the furniture, which is why I ran over to the one before and it turned out to be a leaf, but never mind. The kettle. So did we get a good colour? Otherwise it could go in the free section. I think I have a yellow one. Oh! Ooh, that's cute but not my color so for doing all that stuff I managed to get some nook miles we've got some for hitting the rock we've got some for talking to our villagers you can get other ones for catching sea creatures dressing the wardrobe catching a butterfly fish complete DIYs they will constantly keep going the high priced ones are things that you can only ever do once so they are the daily stuff this is like the once in a lifetime so um you can collect each different type of fruit you will get some nook miles for that um how many <laughs> shellfish i always want to say sea fish no shellfish um will also help you out there updating your house general things like that look 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 So these balloons come over all times of the day. They're all different colours. Each colour represents a different thing that's inside the balloon. Try not to do it in a bunch of flowers, otherwise you won't get it. It will disappear. We got iron nuggets. Perfect. So they're another thing that you can collect out of the rock. If you want to swim, all you need is a swimsuit. You don't need your snorkel, which I think is a bit weird. You should probably buy both. Just um and let's get going put that away and we're going to dive straight in Woohoo! so we want to look out for these bubbles it takes a long time to swim so i'm going to cut some of this out because it's going to be boring waiting for me to find something and we got a crab so you can actually collect these sell them use them on your island whatever you want with them I am looking for a scallop right now. A scallop, you give 
to this little otter that will pop up when we find it. He will then give you the DIY. For the past two days he's been giving me pearls, which are great. It means I can start using them for the DIYs that I've already got. But generally what you want to get is the DIYs. And we've got a pearl oyster. Although you don't get the pearls out of the oyster. Yay! There he is. Hey buddy. So he takes this, gives us a DIY hopefully. And he goes and eats it. Oh god. Feel this. Cats always land on their feet, but that's because their feet are like the bottom parts of cats. <laughs> Trout. <laughs> and we still have got to go give. got some stuff to sell so I'm gonna do that now if you've got a giant clam make sure you sell it because that's quite a lot of money so tomorrow I'll be getting 20,000 in the bank and we've just earned another nook miles so let's go see what the song is today and we can go spend some nook miles inside the residence office so there is a little ATM that you use if you do it every day you get more points so that's always good that's Isabel and Tom over there doing some sort of work they say <laughs> um, we are gonna have a look for the new song so this is like a catalogue and you can order whatever you want on it that's our new song we shall see what it's like tomorrow there's posters and then there's seasonal stuff. So this changes all the time. So you need to make sure you check on it every few weeks um, because it does change all the time. Then we're gonna have a look at the Nook Miles. So when you collect them, this is where you can spend them. So you can buy a different phone case, some different fences or just items to put around your island like so. These don't change colour so if you are looking for a different one, like I've got a white lighthouse, you have to go and find some friends to swap it with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like another one, please hit the like button. If there's more likes than an average video, then I will do another one. If there's not, then I'm guessing this is a flop, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up so I know that it's something that you guys want to see again and yeah if we get enough likes on it then I'll do a part two and we'll see what we get up to next time. You'll know the basics now so we can kind of speed it along next time and maybe go and visit some islands which will be really cool. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.